Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about a cornucopia of video gaming bounty that I have been blessed with here on the Sega Saturn. Uh, in addition to that, um, I wanted to show off my uh, Super NES that I painted. There was a request from Padoka85, I believe, in one of my previous videos to see that when it was done. Uh, and I want to see your Saturn collection too, so uh, don't be pokey about that. Um, but here is the Super Nintendo uh, that I painted. So I think it came out pretty well. I obviously disassembled um, the case into component pieces before I painted these. And uh, of course I covered the stickers with painter's tape. It, it came out really well. This sticker came out really great. Um, so I think it looks 99% better than it used to. Uh, in addition, before I start in on the games, I just wanted to show you guys a strategy of mine for keeping Game Gear games. My solution was to get a binder, uh, and it's pretty thin as far as these go. In fact, it's just the right thickness for Game Gear games. You know, it's sort of the right amount of wiggle room where these fit in there comfortably. The, obviously, the nice thing about this is you can see all the, the games, and then when you want them, you just pop it open and um, you know they just sit in there you can pull the one that you want right out and um, I think it's super handy so what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description so um, you can see where I got these uh, I picked them up off of Amazon and the unfortunate thing is they're a little bit pricey uh, for one of these it's not so bad by itself I think it was about 10 bucks it's gonna be a little expensive if you're buying 10 of them for instance then you're set back a hundred dollars all of a sudden so it's like whew. but uh, I think it would even be worth it then, um, just because I think this is such an elegant solution for holding those games. So, very happy to have found that. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And now let's get to the meat of this, the new games that I picked up recently. What I did is I picked up some Japanese versions of games that I used to have the U.S. versions for, where the U.S. versions are just pricey, you know. And I'm like, well... If the Japanese versions are cheaper, and I'm picking up some Japanese uh, Saturn games, let me go ahead and get those. And I also just got some Saturn games that I didn't have that I wanted to check out. So let's take a look. And I picked up uh, Dragon Force 2. This is one that unfortunately we did not get here, but um, there is a fan translation, I believe, that is in progress or maybe is even done for this. Uh, at any rate, you know, I just went ahead and picked up the Japanese version so I could check it out and, and play it. I uh, always really loved Dragon Force. I was just watching somebody talking about it, and I forget who it was that picked it up, but it's such a good game. I think uh, there's a new Square Enix game coming out that has a similar battle style. I'll maybe just put a link to it or a little annotation that lets you know what that is. Next up is one that I had on the Saturn originally, and this isn't all that expensive in the U.S. version uh, yet, but it's called Galactic Attack here. This is Layer Section, is the Japanese version, uh, by Taito. Uh, the really cool thing about this is it also has the lock-on missiles that you get with the uh, the Macross game, uh, also available on the Saturn. So this was just a fun little one that I used to enjoy. Um, I almost got the sequel to this, and I may still, but um, it was strange. In the sequel, they went from 2D to 3D. So I'm just going to stick with the 2D one for now. So next up is another one that I had on the system previously, and that is Vampire Hunter. Now, I don't know the full history of this. I remember that I got the uh, action replay that had the 4 meg uh, RAM cart in it so that I could play games that required it, but I don't know if we ever got the version of this that needed the extra RAM um, in the US. But I also picked up Vampire Savior. And so, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I don't think that this one came out here. Um, if it did, I mean, I don't know if this is the one that I had or not. But I really wanted to be able to compare the two. And I almost feel a little guilty because this, you can see, is in this nice cardboard box. And it comes with the uh, the RAM cartridge. This is what you would use to uh, to play the game. I don't know if there's a version of this that it was sold separately without the, the RAM cart. Um, but I have this one with the RAM cart. I technically didn't need the RAM cart. In fact, I can't use it because I would have to have a Japanese uh, Saturn. Next up, we have Lunar, the Silver Star Story. Now, this is a game that, of course, I had on both the Sega CD and the PlayStation. Now, I did not have the Saturn version, but since I was picking up Saturn games and I don't have a, um, a Japanese uh, Mega CD, um, I went ahead and picked up this version. And to go with that, of course, I couldn't not get 
some more Lunar games. So I have Lunar 2, uh, Eternal Blue. This is another one that would be, you know, definitely pricey to get, uh, the U.S. version of this. Uh, it looks like Game Arts included a little stack of cards that came with this. These are obviously, like, almost like trading cards or something. Um, I can't imagine that somebody would buy multiple copies of Eternal Blue just to collect all of the trading cards. That it, so it's a pretty expensive pack of cards uh, that you get there. I believe this is Maho Gakuen Lunar. So this is another Lunar game that we, we never got, as far as I know. Um, this also comes with cards. It actually doesn't have as many as uh, Eternal Blue did. I think this probably comes with... I don't know, five cards or something. That one probably had, had about double that. Uh, we've got Slayers Royale 2. Very excited. I have the first one. Of course, welcome to Pia Carrot. This is the first one, but the Saturn version had an extra character. Here, this came with some neat goodies. We have uh, these stickers, which they, they look like print club stickers. So very, very cute. Um, I just think that's really neat. And this is actually... Uh, Kindle Imagine Develop, I guess they were the publishers of this when it came out on the Saturn, for whatever reason. And uh, I don't know what it was, maybe just during this decade, cards were really popular or something, but this came with a card. This is the Saturn exclusive character here. Um, uh, ID Kashikura. ID Kashikura. Uh, we also have Tenshi Muyo, the puzzle game for the Saturn. This was one that was recommended in my... Uh, video requesting uh, puzzle game suggestions. So excited to have this. Definitely want to try this one out. This looks really cool and I'm just, I'm a Tenchi Muyo fan so uh, I wanted to have that. Uh, and next up, uh, continuing on from my Evangelion games that I got for the PS2, here is Neon Genesis Evangelion on the Saturn. I, I think that this might just be a best of version, something like that. I think it's literally just an alternate cover. Here is the uh, the Gainax uh, Mahjong game. So we've got obviously here a bunch of different Gainax characters from the time. Gainax uh, traditionally has branched out into various PC games and just diversified in order to to remain uh, competitive and, and, and profitable as a uh, an animation company. So um, that was one of their experiments that I've always wanted to check out. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's my pickups. I uh, hope that you enjoyed checking those out with me. Um, I definitely have a gameplay video coming up that I would like to do. I've been, I know I've said I've been playing the uh, Steins Gate uh, Hyoku Renu no Darling game on the PlayStation 3, and I had, but I had put it down, um, and I've been playing it again uh, quite seriously recently. So I'm, I'm making genuine uh, headway with that, and I'm starting to enjoy myself. So I'm going to be playing that in the evenings here, and I'll try to get a video up of that. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but maybe sometime in the next week or two. In addition to that, I've played some other games. I've been playing the uh, Resident Evil Revelations. I've been playing, well, I beat uh, The Last of Us, which I may want to uh, share my thoughts about. I didn't dislike it, but I felt like it wasn't quite for me despite the fact that it really seemed like it should be for me. So if you guys would like to hear my opinions about it, I think my opinions are a little different from, from everybody else's opinions about it. So if you'd like me to share those, let me know. Otherwise, I, I don't know that I'm going to make a video on that in particular. But I may just give my general impressions of the games that I've been playing recently. Um, that's all. Thank you for joining me. Um, and uh, I'll catch you again next time with some more Japanese-related video games videos. Thanks for watching.